support. The maestro, please. First pop analysis of 2022, and boy, is it a big one. Today, we are going to talk about We Don't Talk About Bruno from Encanto, the Encanto cast. Bit of a non-traditional pop song to be going over today, as it's a musical show tune, specifically from a Disney animated movie musical. The characters that are prominently featured in the song are Mirabel Madrigal, played by Stephanie Beatriz, Dolores Madrigal, played by Adasa, Felix Madrigal, played by Mauro Castillo, Camilo Madrigal, played by Renze Feliz, Pepe Madrigal, played by Carolina Gaetan, and Isabella Madrigal, played by Diane Guerrero. We then have a few song lines from Alma Madrigal, the abuela, played by Maria Cecilia Botero, given her singing voice is done by Olgo Meredis. We also have one spoken and one song line from Julieta Madrigal, played by Angie Cepeda, and one spoken line from Augustine Madrigal, played by Vilmer Vadrama. Finally, we have three townspeople that sing, given only one of them actually has a name, Osvaldo Ortiz, played by Juan Castano. All the other characters like Luisa, Antonio, and Mariano do not sing in this song. Background. We Don't Talk About Bruno was released on November 19th, 2021, but it didn't chart until January of the following year at number 50. It then shot up the charts drastically, and as of the end of January is number two. Obviously, We Don't Talk About Bruno is off of the original motion picture soundtrack to the movie Encanto, which was also released on November 19th, 2021. The movie premiered at the El Capitan Theater in Hollywood, California, on November 3rd, with the main U.S. theatrical release happening on November 24th. All of the songs on the soundtrack were written by Lin-Manuel Miranda, with Jermaine Franco providing the score. In an interview, Lin-Manuel Miranda commented that the song, specifically We Don't Talk About Bruno, was heavily influenced and inspired by the songs A weekend in the country, we're invited What a horrible plot, a weekend in the country And Christmas bells are ringing Christmas bells are Ringing. Given he did all the songs on the soundtrack, Lin-Manuel Miranda is the genius behind We Don't Talk About Bruno. Oddly enough, this isn't even the first time that one of the songs he wrote from a Disney animated musical has charted. The first one being... If I go, there's just no telling how far I'll go. I know. On the Given if there's one thing that Lin-Manuel Miranda is known for, well, it's gotta be... What's your name, man? Alexander Hamilton! Unsurprisingly, We Don't Talk About Bruno is released solely by Walt Disney Records. Form. We Don't Talk About Bruno is listed as a Latin pop and salsa song, is just over three and a half minutes long, is in C minor and 103 beats per minute. Now this is a show tune, so verse chorus form doesn't really apply to it, but we're gonna talk about it in that way anyway. Thus the first chorus is sung by Peppa to begin the song. We don't talk about Bruno. It's then followed by Peppa and Felix's part of the song. It was my wedding day. It was my wedding day. We were getting ready. And Which then goes to Peppa and Felix singing the next chorus. We don't talk about Bruno, no, no, no. We then go into Dolores and Camilo's section. We then get a fuller chorus with Camilo, Peppa, and Felix singing in harmony, and Dolores giving a nice counterpoint line. We don't talk about Bruno, no. Then get a verse from the townspeople. He told me my fish would die the next day. Yeah. Followed by a section done by Isabella, and then an additional section from Dolores. He told me that the life of my dreams. We then get a short bit from Mirabel herself. Bruno. Yeah, about that Bruno. Before going into a section that has everybody singing their previous sections at the same time. get our final chorus which has everybody yelling at Mirabel. Don't talk about Bruno. Why did I talk about Bruno? Before the song ends. Bruno. He 
piano. Song opens with a Latin styled piano, which basically has a lot of embellishments in the basic harmonies, but for the most part going A flat major, G flat major, A flat major, G flat major, but it adds that seventh at the very end. It then goes into the standard progression that we end up getting from most of the song, going C minor, F minor, G major, F minor over A flat, which it then repeats. As it transitions though from section to section, instead of going back to the original chord progression from that F minor A flat, it then goes back to that A flat major chord repeated before finally ending on a quick G major. It does have the occasional variation though where it adds that additional seventh. Bass. The bass is most clearly heard during Dolores' part, going C, G, F, A flat, G, B, natural, A flat, F, A flat, and repeats that. As it transitions from section to section though, the bass figure changes, dropping to that low A flat, C, A flat, and then finally G below the staff. Synth. Two prominent synths pop up during the song, the first one halfway through Peppa and Felix's part. It goes C, G, F, A flat, G, and then C, G, F, E flat, D. It repeats this, but at the end of certain sections, it changes the rhythm, going to eighth notes and going F, E flat, D. The second and creepier synth happens first during Camilo's part, again still starting on C and G, but then goes to F, D, and E flat, which it repeats. Unlike the first synth though, it does not have a changed melody for when it ends certain sections. Strings. The string section is obviously most clearly heard during Isabella's part because it's the only other instrument that's playing, doing pizzicato in the upper strings, thus plucking them, going G, B flat, then a B flat an octave down, D, F, going back to that low B flat, hitting the D, and then hitting the F again, which it then repeats minus the N where it does this lovely up and down figure. That then repeats, but the low strings now come in, doing an E flat, creeping up to the F, creeping up to the G, creeping up to the A flat. Guitar. The guitar is most clearly heard in Dolores' part after Isabella's, simply strumming out eighth notes going E flat major, B flat major, C minor, and A flat major. Note that the B flat and A flat major chords come in on the final upbeat of the first and third bars. It then switches though once we get into Mirabelle's part going back and forth between A flat major and G major. And right before we get into our final chorus, it hammers out an A flat minor 7 chord in the syncopated rhythms before going back over to just 8th notes. 
Orchestra. As a Disney musical, yes, it does have a full orchestra, given it mostly just hammers out things that we've already gone over in the other instruments. However, this spot in particular during the townspeople's verse is something where it's a bit more iconic. This is not literally everything that's happening, but it's a simple reduction of the various important parts that we hear. To hammer the point home that it really just is doing stuff that the other instruments have done earlier, this is the orchestral part during that final chorus. You can see various things we've already gone over. The bass at the bottom, the piano above that, and even the synth, the second line from the top. However, we have some high strings and some brass chords happening as well. <laughs> This basically continues throughout the final chorus, given a couple of things that are nice to point out. Those offbeat octave notes in the first bar on A flat and G, and those lovely brass stabs at the end that accompany the syncopated piano rhythm we talked about when we were talking about the piano initially. It's also good to note though that the entire orchestra does actually finish out the song. and Felix's verse. After the quick intro and name drop for the song, we get Papa's verse with Felix's commentary underneath. Do note that Felix's vocals, as well as any other male's vocals in the songs, are actually written one octave higher than sounding so you can read it better. It was my wedding day. It was my wedding day. We were getting ready and there wasn't a cloud in the sky. No clouds allowed in the sky. And just like in the song, Peppa does get tired of Felix's commentary. I Bruno Their back and forth does illustrate some interesting melodic counterpoint. Notice how Peppa does very smooth up and downs and focuses mainly on eighth notes, whereas opposed to Felix, who does a bunch of sixteenth note rhythms and has a lot larger leaps in his vocal line. Bruno says it looks like rain. Why is he telling? In doing so, he floods my brain. I will like the umbrella. Honestly, the last phrase illustrates that pretty well. Notice how Peppa goes smoothly from that C to that B flat, whereas Felix is going up and down between Fs in an octave. Dolores' and Camilo's verse. In stark contrast to the previous verse, Dolores is pretty much just doing straight 16s for the most part, and really focusing on that G with the occasional F. Given near the end of this phrase, we do get that G, F, E flat, and C, going back to the G and the ch, ch, ch. As she continues, she really hits that home. There are a couple more eighth notes here, but again, for the most part, G's and sixteenths. Conversely, Camilo is exclusively focused on eighth notes and quarter notes, much more simplistic rhythms. There is still some syncopation though. Also notice how he really stays on that B natural, which is typically outside of the key, just to make it extra creepy. Seven foot frame, right so long is bad. When he calls your name, it all fades to black. Camilo continues with the same melodic and rhythmic ideas, but we do get the townspeople doing this hey, going from F to G near the end. The townspeople's verse. Moving on to the townspeople, we first have the dead fish lady and Osvaldo, who's very concerned with his gut, with some interjections from the rest of the crowd. He told me my fish would die the next day. Dead. No, no. He told me I'd grow a gut, and just like he said, he said no. Increasing in exasperation, we finally get our bald priest before the rest of the family, Peppa, Camilo, Felix, and Dolores, come back in to finish the phrase. He said no. No. my hand would Look at my head. Your face is sealing your prophecy is well. Isabella and Dolores' verse. Isabella comes in with the texture drastically pulled back and noticed how spaced apart her rhythms are, at least on the first half, as she ties it all together melodically at the end of her phrases. He told me that the life of my dream. 
dreams would be promised and someday be mine. She then repeats this in the following phrase, but we get an additional line from Abuela saying that, well, Mariano's on his way. He told me that my power would grow like the grapes that thrive on the vine. Oye, Mariano's on his way. We then move to Dolores for a second time, who kind of repeats the idea that Isabella was doing, given it's much lower and we don't have that smooth melodic flow until the very end of her phrase as opposed to the second half of it. <laughs> As we end this section, we now have this interesting dichotomy between Dolores and Isabella. Mirabelle's verse. Mirabelle really only gets this one section to herself. Notice that as she increases in her range, she does become more, well, exasperated. Then we have Camilo in the middle yelling to Isabella that her boyfriend's here before Julieta and Isabella at the end say it's time for dinner in thirds. Yeah, about that, Bruno. I really need to know about Bruno. Give me the truth and the whole truth. The final verse. The final verse starts off with literally everyone singing what they sang before at the same time. From top to bottom, Peppa, Felix, Dolores, Camilo, Isabella. This continues, but in the last bar, we have that line again from Abuela, given notice how it now has changed melodically. goes on, more changes begin to happen. On Dolores' line in the middle, she starts to change the rhythms and melodies of what she was singing before. Second from the bottom, on Camilo's line in the back half of the phrase, he changes the melody entirely. And notice at the very end, in both Dolores' in the middle and Isabella's at the bottom, they begin singing new material entirely. <laughs> material that was happening in Isabella and Dolores' part now continues, and Camilo is still higher in his range than he was when he sang his line originally. Though notice that Peppa and Felix's line stay the same for the most part, given Felix's line gets truncated by Augustine and Julieta saying that, well, Mariano's here. <laughs> In the very beginning of the song, the We Don't Talk About Bruno line is sung exclusively by Peppa. Notice how low in her range that she is, and notice her syncopations on the no, 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 no. We don't talk about Bruno, no, no, no. We don't talk about Bruno. But the second time this comes around, we have Peppa and Felix singing that, but now in harmonies in a combinations of fifths, fourths, thirds, and seconds. We don't talk about Bruno. the song, we now have Peppa, Felix, and Camilo singing harmonies with a counter melody provided by Dolores underneath. We don't talk about Bruno, no, 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 no. We don't talk about Bruno. And at the very end of the song, you have the entire family singing in various four and three part harmonies with Mirabelle now giving the counter melody. Don't talk about Bruno. Why did I talk about Bruno? Probably going to be one of the most complicated songs we ever do. There's a full orchestra. There are like seven different characters singing and saying things at the same time. These are dense and non-traditional harmonies, especially considering the music is inspired by, well, South American music, considering the movie takes place in Colombia. Regardless, I did all this transcription in one day. I am exhausted. I am hungry. I believe it is. Time for the You know, while listening through this, I noticed a very specific thing that I heard when it came to Camilo's part after Dolores sings for the first time, and I couldn't help but hear something, so I made a TikTok about it. Cool 
Honestly, I think it almost works too well. Okay. Okay.